Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. I am sure there are plenty of brand new users that just started using Linux um, that started with Linux Mint and uh, I'm going to be talking to those folks today. Um, you're certainly welcome. To, anyone is welcome to watch but I'm going to talk about launchers. Doing goofy stuff with practical uh, things at the same time. So the, this is an image writer and I'll talk about one of the reasons you want to use something like that. And this is a USB stick formatter just with goofy icons. And you can use even hard USB hard drives or USB sticks to format that with. Okay. You can add any photograph if you have some uh, pets or friends or goofy stuff like that and uh, goofy icons. You can have some fun with this and relabel that. And this is based off of two applications actually. Um, I use launchers if I uh, did not install an application through the software manager that I bring from a different hard drive to create launchers. And that is done with this tool right here. And I'm going to be showing how simple that is to have a little fun with existing applications even. So filming in 1080, please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. The uh, subscription logo should be floating around the time and date area with a person with yellow brackets. If you don't see that, you're either watching this on someone else's channel or you are watching that on some device that strips out those kind of things. All of my videos have a subscription logo and timelines. So again, welcome. So in here, there is uh, two applications called Image Writer and Image Formatter that I'm doing goofy stuff with. All right, so let me first explain where they come from. So I'm going to use Synaptic Package Manager, and if you're not that familiar with Linux Mint, you can install programs through Terminal, Software Manager, and Synaptic Package Manager. I'm going to put in my password. The user for today is New Mint. I like to have different fun with different names. All right, so the application is called Mint Stick. Mint Stick is a single application, but it has two applications that gets created when you install that. And you will have this installed already. It's a graphical user interface or GUI to write image files, .img or .iso files or ISO files. ISO files are those things that when you download a computer image for Linux distributions, for example, and you would burn that onto a USB device. In other words, a USB stick in most cases. But it can also format USB and USB hard drives. That's what we're be, going to be playing with today. But I'm going to show you one simple explanation. But I'm going to first talk about something important. Do you have a copy of your original Linux Mint 22 installation disk, DVD, or USB? If you don't, download that and create that using these goofy tools or the standard tools you have in your menu. Because what's on these images is not only the installation thing that you use to install LM22 Cinnamon, but also repair tools. One of them is um, the um, disk um, repair tool that's on there. Boot repair is what that's called. It's normally not found on the installed copy, but it is on the live version. There's also a live version of time shift in case you can't get into your system. These are can be a lifesaver if you don't have them. You can uh, pull your hair out and having to you know grapple with the idea to go find another computer to download this image to reinstall Linux Mint. So again please be aware that there's nice tools on there. With that said I'm going to use Goofy create a computer thing so we can do this. Now first I'm going to go find the image so you can see the practicality of this. And we're going to send that to the 250. No, that's way too big. The 16 gigabytes. Now these images are less than 4 gigabytes. So a 4 gigabyte USB stick will work just fine. USB 3 or 2, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to hit write. And allow this thing to do its business. Our user for today is New Mint. Just a made up name. I'll put that to the side. All right, so I'm gonna create 
first, before I create these goofy ones, I'll create something else that may be of practicality and maybe not because I can do the same thing in terminal. So, but I'm gonna exercise this so we can do this. I'm gonna call it a single letter, I'll call it T. So the command is top, and you can see there's a blue line here It says a valid command. We just don't punch anything in here. They have to be valid applications or programs. All right, so this one does require to be launched in terminal. These did not. So we can assign it a, our own icons, I'll pick something goofy. Um, we can um, sign the UFO, if you like. And we can also assign it system icons. Now, when you hit go, uh, comments are optional. When you hit go, it's gonna ask you a question. Where do you want, do you want this be part of your men menu? It'll be stored in here. And if you answer yes, you'll get an extra copy there. Now you have one on your desktop and you have those over here and I can throw that next to that Stormtrooper. That Stormtrooper is currently running an image writer because that's the same tool. All right, what does this guy do? Well, it's a process monitor with a goofy icon. So the top command can be run out of terminal rather easily. So you don't have to you know, put an icon for it. I'm just showing you, you can. It's the same thing. All right, I'm going to terminate that. So let's create the format, the USB thing. So right click, create launcher. Um, goofy sayings, since we're going to format something, we'll start with the format that USB thing. I don't know, something, anything. You can just put anything you want. Now the command for this is mint stick space dash M. And if you're doing format, then type the word format. Okay. Comments are optional. Does not require terminal, but uh, we can put even standard emojis, standard icons, or browse for your own icons, including pictures, including pictures. So I have that computer guy as one of the pictures. Now this is a fairly large image, so it'll handle it kind of weird on the screen, but in either case, I'm going to hit okay. And I have the choice. Do I want it to be part of the menu or not? If I answer not, this is my only icon. All right, so I can format. Now, if you notice, this is finished. I can format the same disk that I just did over here, or I can do a 250 gigabyte hard drive because it's connected to the USB. And then you can choose how you want that to format. Generally, I, I choose extension four because that's Linux. FAT32, file allocation table 32, you can certainly use that. Um, but it can't handle files bigger than four gigabytes, single files. And I've never liked this space in here because uh, sometimes when I write script files, I don't put spaces in the volume names. But anyways, that's just me. But I can also choose to change the icon because it's just a single. So this time I'm going to choose something in here. How about that? It's just an icon, as they say. Okay, it still does the same job. All right, so let's go take a look at this. If you, uh, let's see, we're probably going to have to eject it. Um, so it is this. And what I need to do is pull it out and put it back in. So just give me a second. I need to get up out of my chair. Then I'll sit back down and now you can see that just made a Linux Mint 22 cinnamon. This is a fully bootable USB stick. I can take that to uh, pretty much any computer that'll allow me to boot from a USB device. Computers. You should have one of these. Okay. So I'm going to hit eject.
The other one is the drive. All right, so if I do the format USB thing, uh, it doesn't matter which one I use, they're both the same. And uh, now it only has the 250. And then I can choose the right formatting. All right, so that was formatting create is done this way for the ISO thing. We'll just leave it at that. And I'll pick a emoji. Why not? Let's do something silly. Um, we'll just do the wink guy here. All right. What is the command for that again? It's mint stick. Space dash M space. And we're doing an ISO, so ISO, that's it. Doesn't require a terminal, already have the icon. I'm gonna answer yes this time. <clears throat> we can go find it in the menu. Okay, we can throw it over here. We can also throw it downstairs. Single clicks, double clicks. Okay, very simple. Find your image. I'm not going to remake this, but anyways, and in my case, I have a 250. I would not put that ISO on a 250 gigabyte hard drive, but I can't is what I'm getting at. I would normally put that on a four gigabyte or eight if you have it. 16 would be overkill, but that's all I had earlier. And then write. And that's how you can do these goofy things. And if you are wanting to uninstall these things, first of all, I'm going to get rid of T because I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to right click on T and uninstall. And I say, yes, it's gone. If you have placed icons like here, this will no longer function in most cases, but it did in this case. But generally after this is gone, it will not function anymore because I got rid of it. To get rid of these icons, I just pull them out. It's simple as that. So they're still here though. So I'm going to uninstall that one and answer yes and get rid of the icon on my desktop. Format that USB thing. Let's see if we still have that green one. No, we don't have it anymore. So uh, actually see since I manual no that's right I've just created it on the desktop that's right so we're back to that and using the uh, the picture thing um, if you create it from scratch and you have it in the menu then I would get rid of it if you're going to change the picture all right so to give you an idea I will um, let's see is it that one yeah because I altered the photo so it's this one here So I will recreate that one. So this is an ISO again. So create new launcher. Create that ISO thing. And this time I'm gonna pick my own photo. It's browse and it's pictures. And what do I wanna use? How about this goofy looking mushroom? Why not? It's just a picture. This could be a picture of anything. All right, so let's say we're doing ISO, it's uh, mint stick, space, dash, M, space, ISO. That's it. Don't need terminal. And um, Well, that did not register, so let me type this again. There we go. It's just a spelling is paramount. All right, now I got an arrow. Yeah, before it had the stop sign, it meant uh, it didn't understand what I was trying to type. All right, so we got that. We don't need that, and uh, we'll just answer yes. So it's in the menu now, and. Um, 
I'll, well, I'll just toss it up here first and then I'll stick it downstairs. All right, I know it looks goofy, but it's something you can play with. Image writer. And again, I can go find a different ISO if I wanted to burn that MX, for instance, but I still need something that's uh, less than that. So. So I could stick another USB stick and this image I think is also under four gigabytes. So if I got a USB sticks, that's a four gigabyte, USB three or four, it doesn't matter. And uh, so I could technically override this, but I generally would format it first. But uh, I have the image. And now I have two choices because I got up out of my chair and reinserted that one. 16 gigabyte is still overkill, but if that's what, all you have, you can choose that and write. But generally I wouldn't do that though. I would use the other tool, you know, that format, that USB thing. Um, I would probably format this again. And you can just leave the defaults and uh, format it because you're going to be placing an image on here. And it'll wipe out the name and it wipes out the whole stick. I use this also to clean up USB sticks. So yes, these things do have practicality things. But you don't have to create goofy things. I'm just showing you that you can create goofy stuff from these two things right here. That's just one example. Having fun with launchers. Thank you for watching.